Hey, I wanna share with you my number one tip for improving your credit, whether you are building your credit, reestablishing your credit, or trying to fix some bad credit in the past, some decisions that weren't maybe necessarily the best. Here's my number one tip on how to get that started become an authorized user on somebody else's credit card. But there are some rules to this game, so listen in. You really wanna have um, a credit card that is a bank-issued credit card. Chase, Capital One, Discover, something along those lines. So try to avoid those store credit cards, like department stores and those kinds of things. Your goal is to find something that has been at least established for five years. So once you've got five years, you've got that longevity of payment history. So uh, again, step one, bank issued credit card, step two, at least five years of history, and step three, we want a really high limit and a very low balance. So here's my tip for you. Find somebody in your family or in your life that you trust and that trusts you. It doesn't really matter what their credit score is. We we're just using the information from this one trade line. Ask them if they have a credit card that has been bank issued for several years, and if they say yes, ask them if they would consider adding you as an authorized user. And here's what you need to share with them. You will get a credit card mailed, but have it just mailed to their address. They don't ever have to give it to you. You never need to know the uh, credit card number. You never need to swipe that card or make a purchase in your name. All you're simply doing is borrowing their credit history on your credit profile. You're never gonna use their card. You're not actually using their trade line. You're just borrowing the information for your goal. Your bigger goal might be to uh, buy a home and you need something really positive and longstanding to help you with that. I have seen people go from the 570s on a credit score well into the 700s by doing this one Thing. And here's the coolest part. There's no inquiry because you're not responsible for uh, repaying that debt. So there's no inquiry to your credit. So uh, inquiries can have an impact as much as 10% of what makes up your overall credit score. So there's no credit inquiry, no hard inquiry. Uh, the second thing that I love about this is once it does get onto your credit, let's say that credit card has been around for five years, you now have five years of credit history added to your credit profile. It doesn't start just from today when it gets added to your uh, credit profile moving forward. You get all of that delicious, deep, wonderful history. And if they have a really high limit and really low balance, you have this beautiful low debt utilization, which is one of those factors or, or uh, percentages that's created when it looks at credit card balances. How much of your credit limit is being used and they look at that, uh, your balances versus your limit. In a perfect world for a nearly perfect score, you want that debt utilization to be under 10%. But to get a good score, you want it to be under 30%. Unfortunately, a lot of people are walking around with 70 to 95% debt to income ratio when it comes to their credit cards, and it is really crushing their credit scores. Now, here's a warning. If you do get removed as an authorized user, all of that history goes away. It's as if it never existed. So if you have a really big goal, again, like say buying a home in the future, make sure you keep it there for as long as needed to accomplish that goal. So don't remove it until well after you close on that home loan, or otherwise you could really mess some things up. And another thing I love about being an authorized user is you're not responsible for that payment, which means if you are applying for a loan, we don't have to hold that payment against you should there be one every month as part of your debt to income ratio, since you're not responsible for it. So here's my question. Have you used this strategy on your own and has it worked successfully for you? I've helped so many people with this one tip get from in the 500s to well above approval threshold when they are applying for a mortgage. And so I hope this tip helps you. And parents, if you're looking for ways to help your kids start right with their finances, add them as an authorized user. Again, don't give them the credit card. There's no need for them to use it unless you want to bless them that way. But just having that credit reporting on their credit profile will help them establish really great credit. And that way, when they go and apply for their own, say, auto loan, mortgage, credit cards, anything like that, they've already got a substantial start on their credit history and their credit score which is gonna give them a better chance for getting approved for those things on their own in the future. 
I'd love to hear your questions or your thoughts. Put them in the comments below or send me an email at questions at Thanks for watching.